Fox with us right now with sweet Jillian Girl, who's wagging her tail, so cute and so pretty, <laughs> and she's just a total love bug. Tell me about her, Kelly. Yeah, so Jillian <laughs> is one of our longest residents at Dorchester Hi. Paws. Um, she's been there a few months. She came in as a stray, and um, just a super, super sweet dog. She's seven years old, and I think Look she's getting tail. overlooked just because of her age, you know? But if you're looking for, like, a first dog, um, this is the way to oh, go. This is her temperament. So she's awesome. Yeah. She's so look at her laying down and settling <laughs> in. Oh, what a good girl. Here's some of her model shots. Here's the deal. Both dogs I adopted were adult dogs. There's a lot of benefits. A lot of times they come to you a little more chilled out and they yeah. know the deal already. And sometimes they already have some training as well. So do not overlook the adult dogs. Honestly, having a puppy can sometimes be overwhelming. Right, right. So Jilly Bean, are you ready to find a new home? How long has she been at the shelter? She's been there about four months now. So yeah, she's um we've tried to get a lot of exposure for her. So we Look bring at what her out a lady to London. She yeah. is. She just crosses her legs and stuff. I know too. I she's really... <laughs> she's so classy. Well, she'd be great. And is she good with kids, other dogs? Yeah, seems like she's good with other dogs. Had her in a couple play groups and and good with kids. Um, the only thing we found out she doesn't like to walk on hardwood floors for okay, some reason. Okay, it was reason. hilarious. <laughs> in between the studio and the green room where our guests wait, we do have some more tile floor, and she was a little bit sketched out by that. But yeah. <laughs> you know what? So she's a little bit of a chicken and she's ready to get into her new family That's where she right. can get lots of love. So somebody please scoop her up. We love to get these more longer term residents out of the shelter and into a home. Do you have any events coming up, Callie? Yes, yeah, so we have Remember Me Thursday is tomorrow night. It's a national event that just kind of remembers those animals that maybe didn't make it out of the shelter and, and passed on. So we're going to have a little memorial for them at the uh, Duck Pond in Park Circle. And then we're going to go over to the Sparrow afterwards and kind of have a little oh, thing. Callie, out. that breaks my heart. That's yeah, really, that's so pretty awful. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. We're going to do our part to make sure that never happens. We're going right. to make sure that Jillian gets a home. Again, a lot of great turnout last week for Clear the Shelters. Awesome. Let's keep it going, okay? Even though it's not Clear the Shelters week anymore, all these animals still deserve to be in a home. They got to so. go, yeah. Jillian Dorchester Paws, that's who she is. Someone check her out. Callie, thanks so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you, appreciate she it. She's very sweet. And if you'd like to see your pet here on News 2 Midday, of course, we're always taking submissions. It doesn't matter if they're furry, fluffy, slimy, or crawly. Just send me a photo and a brief description of who they are. We'll feature them right here on Pets on 2. Send those entries to me, count on 2 at WCBD.com. Dot com.